All right, so the question is, how do we figure out what a person on Earth would see at this particular position of the moon? Now, this can be a little tricky, but if you follow these four steps here, you'll be all right 100% of the time. Uh, the first step is to rotate the diagram so the moon is directly up in the 12 o'clock high noon position. So we're going to do that first. We're going to go ahead and spin that around. Okay, so now that we have the moon in this 12 o'clock high position straight up, let's imagine that we have a person standing on Earth. I'm going to call this person Little G. Little G is going to help us out uh, with figuring out what Little G sees because we're not figuring out what we see, but what he can see. Now, remember, Little G is looking up from the Earth, so he can only see the side that faces him. And so I'm going to go ahead and make this my rule of thumb that anything on the outside of the orbit on this side is going to be uh, invisible to little g. Everything on the inside of the orbit will be visible. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use my rule of thumb to block that part out so that I can see what little g sees. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and just draw a vision line so that it's very clear what little g's right and his left side is. Uh, and now that I know what his left and his right is, I can clearly see that most of the moon on the left is shaded and there's a tiny bit on the right that's lit. Okay. So here's what we're going to figure out. Uh, whenever you have a tiny bit on one side that's either lit or shaded, we're going to draw that as a crescent shape. Now, crescent shapes start from the center of the top of the circle, and they go down to the center of the bottom. Now, don't draw a straight line because that will be a half moon. We're trying to draw a tiny little bit. So we're going to draw a crescent, a curve from the center of the top to the center of the bottom. Okay. This lets me know there's a tiny piece on the right that's either shaded or lit, okay? In this case, we see that it's lit and not shaded. So I'm gonna leave this lit and I'm gonna shade in the part on the left. So this is what, if you ask little G, little G, is this what you see? He would answer, yes, that's exactly what I see. And this is the big idea here. You're drawing it from his perspective, not from what you can see. So if you rotate the diagram so the moon is directly up, you're perfect. Make sure you draw a vision line from the left and the right and use your rule of thumb to block out anything on the outside of the orbit. Uh, finally, you're going to go ahead and sketch what it is that you see. If there's a tiny piece of either lit or shaded, that's going to make a crescent on that side. To make a crescent, start from the middle of the top of the circle and draw a curved line down the side that has just a tiny piece. In this case, it was on the right. Okay, and then shade in appropriately as seen by little G. All right, that's all from me and little G. We thank you and good luck.